Question number 91. Imagine you need to create a model that can classify images. Which Azure service should you use to accomplish this task? Let's go through the available four options. The correct answer is Azure AI Custom Vision. So what is Azure AI Custom Vision? Azure AI Custom Vision is a image recognition service provided by Microsoft that allows you to build, train and deploy your own image classification models. Unlike other Azure services, Custom Vision is specifically designed to help you create models that can recognize and categorize images based on your specifications. Question number 92. You have successfully trained a regression model using automated machine learning, which is AutoML, in the Azure Machine Learning Studio and have reviewed the summary of the best performing model. To make the model accessible for others to use over the internet, what step should you take next? Let's go through the options available. The correct answer is deploy the model to an endpoint. You can deploy the best performing model for client application to use over the internet by using an endpoint. To publish the model for others to use from the internet, you should deploy the model to as an endpoint. This process involves creating a web service that hosts the model, enabling client application to make a request to it and obtain predictions. Question number 93. Imagine you are using Azure Machine Learning Designer to pre-process your dataset. Which three modules should you consider for transforming your data? You need to pick three correct answers from here to get full mark on this question. The correct answers are clean missing data, normalized data, and select columns in data set. Let's go through this one by one. What is clean missing data means? This module helps manage and rectify missing values in a data set. It can remove rows or columns with missing data, or it can fill in missing values using various strategies such as mean, median, or mode. Next, look into what is normalized data. Normalized data is a module used to adjust the values of numeric columns in a data set to a common scale without distorting differences in the range of values. This is crucial for ensuring that the features in a data set contribute equally to the model. Next, look into what is select columns in data set. This module allows users to choose a subset of columns from the data set that are most relevant for the machine learning task. This helps in focusing on important features and removing unnecessary ones. Question number 94. Which three features demonstrate the capabilities of an image generation model in a real world scenario? You need to choose three correct answers to get the right answer or full mark on this question. The correct answers are creating variations of an image, editing an image and new image creation. Image generation models can take prompt, a base image or both and create something totally new. These generative AI models can create both realistic and artistic images, change the layout or style of an image and create variations of a provided image. Let's look at question number 95. Imagine you are using Azure AI language service to detect the language of a given text. These three specific values will be the service return for you. And what are the three values from these options available here? The correct answers are ISO 6391, language name and score. The language name is the value which indicates the name of the detected language such as English, French or Spanish. ISO 639-1 code this is the two letter code representing the detected language like EN or EN for English or FR for French and the score this value represent the confidence level of the detection usually expressed as a decimal between 0 and 1 a higher score indicates greater confidence in the accuracy of the detected language 
Question number 96. Imagine you are using the Azure AI Vision service to analyze an image. Which task provides bounding box coordinates for the detected object in the image? I think we have gone through two or three variety or different variation of the same question. I'm sure you know the answer. The correct answer is object detection. Detecting object identifies common objects and for each return bounding box coordinates. Question number 97. Imagine you are using natural language processing techniques to analyze text data. Which method would you choose to normalize words before counting them? Let's go through the options available. The correct answer is stemming. So what is stemming? Stemming is a natural language processing technique that reduces words to their root or base form. For example, the words running, ran and runner can be reduced to run. By normalizing words in this way, stemming helps in processing and analyzing large amount of text data more efficiently. Question number 98. What is an unsupervised machine learning algorithm module for training models in the Azure Machine Learning Designer? Let's go through the options available. The correct answer is K means clustering. What does this mean? K means clustering is a method used in unsupervised machine learning to divide a set of data points into groups or clusters based on their similarities. Unlike supervised learning, where the model is trained with labeled data, K means clustering works with unlabeled data. The K in the K means stands for number of clusters you want to create. Question number 99. Imagine you are developing an AI system to manage healthcare data. Which two principles of responsible AI would be crucial to ensure ethical and legal standards are met? Each correct answer contribute to the solution. We, we have to pick two answers. I'm sure this is going to be the last responsible AI question. Maybe you are tired of responsible AI question. I just want to reiterate that you will probably encounter three or four questions in your exams related to responsible AI. So don't take it lightly. The correct answers are accountability and privacy and security. The accountability principle states that AI systems are designed to meet any ethical and legal standards that are applicable. The system must be designed to ensure that privacy of the healthcare data is of the highest importance, including anonymizing the data where applicable. The fairness principle is applied to AI system to ensure that users of the system are treated fairly. The inclusiveness principle states that AI systems must empower people in a positive and engaging way. Let's go through the last question. If you are with me so far or if you have watched it throughout at one stretch or part by part, I really hope this video provided some insight or value to you as an individual. If you are trying to learn AI, all the very best. If you are trying to learn this for passing the exam, all the very best again. Question number 100. Imagine a company is attempting to forecast water consumption in households. They have data on the number of occupants, the ambient temperature and the season. Which of these variables is the dependent variable they aim to predict? Let's scan through the options available. The correct answer is water use. The water use is the label value that you want to predict, also known as the independent variable. In the realm of machine learning, two fundamental concepts are critical to understand how models make predictions data labels and features. These terms are pivotal in structuring data sets and training models to derive valuable insights and predictions. So that concludes this video. I will see you on the next one. Take care.